What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Clickbait. Um, can't wait to get started. Like always, we got Bachelor Nation news. We actually have a lot of it. Um, we don't have a guest coming on this week, but we pulled some questions that you guys sent in. We're going to be answering all those. We also have the Clickbait of the week. I don't even look at it anymore because Natasha just runs it. So that, that's how it's we're going to do it. Good one. Let's. Um, how's everybody today? How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm, I'm getting over a stomach virus, but you know, we're surviving. Yeah. Stomach virus? Yeah, honey. Yeah. That's why I got my dry toast over here. Oh, I thought that was a cookie. No, bitch. I wish the thought of the flavor of a cookie makes me want to gag. I kind of wish you were just <laughs> sitting there eating a cookie. <laughs> I thought it was a cookie. Okay, well, I got my Celsius, honey, and we own one. Um, favorite Celsius uh, flavor, Joe? Ooh. I I don't really drink Celsius. Mm, some wrong ooh, the peach is good peach ooh i got my peaches out and enjoy i'm still I like, on that I, I, like, I don't like energy drinks i like coffee um so oh. celsius orange is fire and it's my ooh. favorite the orange one is my favorite i know it sounds basic but it's the best celsius mm. and tequila is a great combo if you want to be somebody said that and i said to the moon we go yes honey <laughs> that's what i was drinking on our little photo shoot day you had tequila <laughs> in that yeah just Mm. So y'all, so Joe, you didn't move. You are a New Yorker. Tell me, tell me everything. Tell me how it was. What's going on? Uh, yeah. The move was sponsored. We love this. Yeah, we love move. a free move. Yeah. Who told move. you about? Who told you about it? Natasha. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> yeah. Check out um, Joe's code. <laughs> I've been here. I've been here since Sunday. Um, the move was pretty easy. Took me like a day and a half. Serena. Shout out um, to cousin. Cousin. Yeah. Shout out to cousin. Yeah, my cousin, my cousin <laughs> Teresa helped me. Um, but yeah, I've been out here. I wouldn't consider myself a New Yorker. I don't consider I wouldn't consider myself a New Yorker until I match the amount of time I lived in Chicago. So mm. if I stay out here for 30 years, then I would consider <laughs> myself a New Yorker. See y'all in 30 years. So well, we can check in. I will say I've been in New York for eight years and I do not feel like a New Yorker. Even though when I go other places, Wait, people are like, you're so New York. Because I don't know what it is about Chicago. I actually was watching this show last night. It's called uh, Power Force. Have you guys seen that? It's called no. Power. Whatever. It takes place in Chicago. It's like a remake. It's like a the second the second seat. Ah. It's the second show from the show Power that took place in New York. And now it, this one's in Chicago. And I mean, just like looking at Chicago, it's like, oh, I know the street. Oh, yeah, this home. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like something about Chicago that will always feel like home. I don't know. Do you feel like that about Arkansas? Is Aren't you from Arkansas? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, Arkansas will always be home. I just don't really know if I want to like live there again. But no, not live I, there. I feel but like a Nash, Nashvilleian. But you feel like you're in, they're su they're really similar though. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I feel like Chicago is so unique. I don't feel mm -hmm. like anywhere anywhere that I've been has been like this. Reminds me of Chicago. N right. Nowhere. Maybe Amsterdam a little bit, a little bit. The way that Amsterdam. It looks. A little yeah, bit. What did not I, expect that. I don't know why. So, okay, don't listen. What to the me. dams? Is that what it, what it is? <laughs> it's the water. It's being around the water. The people, like the the chill vibes of it. I don't know. It's like oh, a city, wow. but it's chill wow. vibes. That is probably the worst comparison I've ever heard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't know. What else? Do I uh, uh, No, I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad you Have put you that been out to there. Amsterdam? I have, yeah. And you didn't feel like, wow, I could live here. It feels a little bit like Chicago. I I liked Amsterdam, but no, <laughs> there was no nothing comparison about at it. All. I was like, hmm. This feels, feels like, like home. home. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. All right, fine. If anything, I ate a space cake and I freaked out and didn't know where. Maybe that. Maybe that oh. was it. Maybe. Yeah. maybe what is that? High the whole time. <laughs> is it weed? Ooh, it yeah, it's like th they put um, like weed and like these little pound cakes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. To the moon. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You will you will go to the moon. Um yeah, right, should we talk about Bachelor Nation? Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry guys. We whew, no no guests today. We have no Just direction us. today, sorry. <laughs> all right, us. Bachelor Nation breakdown. First of all, first story of the day. Do we have a new Taddy Daddy? Oh in man. Bachelor Nation? He has claimed the He has claimed the throne. James, our boy, yeah, Jomze, <laughs> has a whole freaking leg sleeve tattoo. Yeah. Honey, yeah. he went uncut Jomze. I mean, very bold move. I thought it was an April Fool's break. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't I, I don't have any tattoos. 
I don't know the tattoo <laughs> culture or if there's any like rules, but I've never like usually people get like, oh, you know, good. one tattoo, two tattoos, you know, and they build up and then start all of a sudden, slow. you know, you start slow. He just mm -hmm. like went all in and like, I'm going to do my entire leg. Um, yeah, which, I'm trying to look and see what he on it. 43 hours, he said. Yeah, I messaged him. I said, is this real? He said, yeah, it's for 43 hours. It took 43 hours. I didn't, even know, like a, a I didn't even know a tattoo artist could do that. Clock. I thought they would have to like take time, let some of the tattoos like heal. Well, you do. Then... You do. Well, the shading, I think. This, some, yeah. The shading, I think, is what is um is what they need to come back to like do normally because some the of it is kneecap isn't... that looks painful oh yeah the kneecap. There's a but honestly there? it is so hot it's so sexy i love it i told them i was like this looks so good and the thing I that i love about it too this. is you know like james has like a like a like, I don't want to say corporate, but like, I mean, well, he's, super clean, clean, he's cut super clean vibe. cut. Yeah. He's yeah. always shaven. I think he, his body shaved, his hair is always tight back. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, unless he has shorts on, you would never know that he has this crazy tat on his leg. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that's wild. I, I think it's hot. It's a yes for me. And I like that it's only on one leg. Yeah. It like instantly edged him up. Yeah, there was this guy that I, I dated like a while back and he had, he was a model and um, from all of his uh, tattoos were from the waist down. He But he had like little small ones, but he had mm -hmm. a bunch of them and they were all from like the waist down. I wonder yeah. why. That's interesting. I feel Oh, I think because of the model thing. I would oh, never, they uh, typically show. I would never do my whole leg just because I wouldn't want the, to Would you there. ever get a tattoo at all? No, I, only because I feel like I'm pat like I feel like if you don't get them earlier in life, like I don't know. I, I it just was a thing like all, like a lot of my friends got them when we were in high school, and I just never did. And now I just feel like it would almost be like too forced. No, no. I, I don't even know what I, I see I would what get. you mean though. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Like I feel like if I got I a few in high school, I would probably add on now. Mm -hmm. But to start your my friends first that got them that young though probably wish they didn't. Or probably right. don't even oh, like yeah. what right. they have anymore. Yeah. Right. And and I think too, like I look at tattoos as body art and I think different times in our life, certain, th you know, things happen. Like I have a pretty, I wouldn't say it's a big tattoo, but it's a long tattoo on my back. Mm -hmm. um, and I forget about it because it's on my back. I forget about right. it all the time because I never see it unless, you know, and then like people mention it sometimes like, oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, back. I forget too. Yeah. And so I, I would totally get more tattoos because I think that there's sometimes, especially with like, this is going to sound weird, but like with the mindfulness, there's certain things that you just kind of have to remember. Yeah. And, and you look at it and it, and it, and it reminds you, yeah, yeah. Like I see certain people with, um, like the infinity tattoo, like they have it on their, on their hand or on their wrist or mm -hmm. something like that. When it's just like, you know, it's it's a symbolization of just like everything comes full circle. Like and you just remember that, you know, when you're having a bad day or whatever, <sighs> you know, there's just so many different. Um, there's I don't know. There's just so many. Girl, different I have patience things. on my wrist and it ain't reminded me to do shit. <laughs> this, is my, this is my first tattoo. And I'm like, why? Why? Yeah. I'm like, let's pick that shit off the wall. Here it is. You know what? <laughs> when did you get that tattoo? I was 18. In you four see, days. Your 18 year old self knew that you was going to need to see this. That well, one day. I guess. But like day. none of them mean anything else. At, my more recent tattoos mean more. But at I first, it was just I believe like, in that you. Was good. I believe in you. One day you are going to accomplish that. You are going to have that. You're going to be like, I got this when I was 18. You're going to we'll be 60. See. Like, I got this when I was 18. I finally know. <laughs> right. You don't pray for patience. I learned that the hard way because God will test you. Praying for patience. You don't do that? No, because if you pray for patience, God will give you circumstances that m you need to be patient in. He will test your patience. Absolutely. If you pray for patience, God will test your patience. And then I'll be in traffic and be like, what the heck? And yes. God's like, you prayed for patience, girl. I tried to tell you. Okay, so let me tell you something. I you pray, pray for uh, like acceptance or tolerance. <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you something. I pray. I prayed hard, hard for patience and I went through it. Me and God mm -hmm. went through it. Mm -hmm. But I would I would categorize myself as a patient person now. Three you years are. ago, 
goodbye. <laughs> right. <No. laughs> I'm like scared to pray for it anymore. No, it works though. Keep doing it. It will, it will work. I promise you it will okay. work. Cause it, would you think, would you categorize me as a patient person? Patient? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody with patience? Yeah. Opposed to not, not a, a non-patient person. <laughs> um, person. Hmm. I wouldn't consider you a patient person. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I I wouldn't ki- consider you like um, what would be the word impatient. Of, impatient. Yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so so I'm and in- I would either. consider myself an idiot. No, uh, I <laughs> I would say I wouldn't consider you like impatient, but I, I but you also do have that that city New York vibe, and those people aren't really patient totally i'm totally not like i'm definitely a go-getter but i'm saying that yeah and that's different than like knowing what you want and going for it but exactly exactly but i would say like my sister if we asked her this question she would be like girl night and day night and day because i used to be a very much like girl but i was crazy mm-hmm. um but god helped me out look god worked on me god worked on me don't thanks worry. god <laughs> thank you jesus <laughs> cheers to you <laughs> All right, moving on. We went on a freaking tangent again. Okay, oh. impacts our nation. Oh. What is actually going on with Kristen Cavallari and Tyler Cameron? Did y'all Ooh, see these steamy this photos? Was juicy. So apparently, if you're living under a rock and you don't know about this, there are pictures that came out of Kristen Cavallari and Tyler C. Very close. Were they kissing? Kissing in some? I think they yeah. were kissing in yeah, some. In these kissing. photos, and you're like, what is actually yeah. going on? Apparently, mm-hmm. it it was for a photo shoot for her Uncommon James jewelry line. But, like, why do people need to be making out to to promote jewelry? Um, well, I, I mean, know sure. people do that in campaigns. Models do that yeah. in campaigns. I feel like yeah. she's always by herself in campaigns. And now she's got a sexy man that she just so happened to meet well, a they, little well, while back. They, I guess the first time... Well, I don't know if it was the first time they met, but when he did, um, what what's that? What's that show on E? Daily, Daily Pop. Pop. Yeah, he went on Daily yes. Pop, and I believe she mm-hmm. was hosting or mm-hmm. one of the hosts. Um, mm-hmm. And they people were like, they have chemistry because they like danced or whatever. Yeah, he so gave maybe her a little maybe spin. from there, maybe from there, she's like, wow, we did have good chemistry. Well, she like for, asked uh, him to like, be guys, yeah guys. part of the shoot. Yeah, I mean. Tyler Cameron is very handsome on Instagram, but he is a thousand times hotter in person. I would, I, oh. I think so. I don't know I if I've so. seen him in person. I, I got a chance to meet him and his dad at a play. And, uh, yeah, they are, they are just very precious people. They're precious. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's cool. I like Tyler. He's, yeah. yeah. He's got yeah. a good, uh, swag about him. He's tall. <laughs> I thought he's you were going to say bone structure. <laughs> that that as well. He's also very handsome. He, he's 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 taller in person than I would have thought. Tyler's got to be. I think he's probably like six four. Oh wow! And yeah, he's tall. Even better. I don't know how tall. Yeah, he is. He's definitely tall. I had heels on, and he was definitely still towering over me. And he's like you know wide too. So broad. Yeah. Yeah, broad. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, a better so. question to a better word to say. But um, they are very too. Um, sexy people Kristen and tyler so right why not this is all speculation obviously but but also they do look they do look great together but also you cannot be with anyone we cannot be with a set with the opposite sex in this bachelor world oh no even walking next to them without people thinking that you're dating them so the fact right. that they are steamy and like so close in these pictures you know everybody was like wait hold on what yeah, right. and she has such a big following, and, and oh yeah, she's so well known. So oh yeah, yeah. Makes I mean, sense. every weekend, like starting on Thursdays in Nashville, her store is right by my gym. People line up at the door just to go shop at Uncommon James. Oh, like there are wow. herds of women just waiting in line wow. to go in her store. So this photo shoot, just having him in it alone. Is going to be huge for her line that she's promoting. People smart. are going to be interested. They're going to be like, oh, super smart. Great yeah. clickbait. We're going to go shop the collection. And, and didn't she just say that she's ready to date again? She dropped she, that I, There were rumors that she was dating someone from, mm. I can't remember the name of the show, mm. but it was a really cute guy from the another. Bachelor. 
No, it was from another <laughs> show. I can't even think of it. But yeah, might as well date again. I saw her not long ago at a Preds game. She's so cute. All right. Nick Viall shares how The Bachelor changed his life in honor of the show's 20-year anniversary. First of all, that's insane that it's been on for 20 years. Um, but he just kind of touches on the fact that the franchise is just huge. What did he even say? How did he even word it? He just said, I... I'm pretty sure he just said, yeah, like, of course it changed my life. I was in sales and now I have my own podcast. I bought a oh, home shit, in LA. I, mm -hmm. I, he does like acting jobs and just like different things in like social media and media. So, yeah. yeah. I, mean, mm -hmm. I can't remember it now, but there was one thing in particular. I was like, yeah, that totally makes sense. I mean, um, it's changed. Yeah, of course it's life changing. Yeah. Most of our lives. Honestly, Nick is great. Um, he definitely has navigated this world in such a way, uh, or his after bachelorness, I guess. Yeah, he didn't because start out so great on the show necessarily, but afterwards he's taken full advantage of being able to make it his career. Which yeah. yeah, he said he said in he said, I'm not proud of my time on the show but i'm also not embarrassed or something right. like that is what he said and yeah the show definitely um portrays people in a certain way and i think that people learn and i always say this on the podcast um with all the contestants that we have on and all the people who come on after they leave the show or on the show you just learn so much about yourself um mm -hmm. and opening your heart and being vulnerable and all these different things and um, what that looks like. And I think for all of us, it's like the show definitely helps you think about if you've never thought about being an entrepreneur, um, it helps you or propels you to go in that direction to work for yourself right. if it's something that you want to do. Not everybody does it. Some, some people go back to their other jobs or do other things or whatever um, or do both. But mm -hmm. I think before being on, that's the biggest thing for me. Like I never thought about being an actual entrepreneur um, and like having things like, you know, I always wanted to work for myself as far as like a freelancer. And I was doing that before, but I never thought about being an actual entrepreneur and thinking about how I can influence the world with different things personally, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Um, so, you know, having that freedom and I think freedom is something that um, he talks about as well, having the freedom to like navigate certain rooms and doing certain things after being on the show. And Nick was a bachelor. And I just think that even though the show's been on for 20 years, that's still a very like coveted. I mean, what, there's been 26, 27. How many bachelors? There's been 26 bachelors. You know, that's like the 1% of the 1%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, such, it's such a small game changing. Yeah, it's such a small number of people who can say I was The Bachelor from this big franchise that so many people know about since it's been on for so long. Um, so I think having that position if you're Bachelor and or Bachelorette, it's a it's a big deal in how you navigate it. Um, there are certain people who are Bachelorettes and Bachelors who, I mean, look at Jesse, right? Like Jesse Palmer yeah. was a Bachelor and now he's hosting it. Like that's so full circle, I guess. Um, how you How you navigate this world or what you want out of life i guess and being mm -hmm. clear on that is um is really important and some people you don't have to go back into that world oh, i was gonna ask you anyway what was like the biggest change or whatever from being on the show and you said it so yeah same with me being, being able to work for myself and all that okay all right, to wrap up this segment, we have a special announcement and award, I guess. We haven't really won anything yet, but Clickbait, our podcast, Clickbait with Bachelor Nation, receives a special honor at this year's Webby Awards. Shut up, Tia. Who said that? The Webbies. <laughs> the Webbies. <laughs> they said it. Um, so we technically haven't won anything yet, but... Well, I yes. don't think we're we're not Says. up for an award. We're, we're just we're just Wait, we're just I an we were honoree. Nominated. We're an honoree. We're okay, honor. but it says Webby Award honoree in podcast for maybe TV, TV and film category. Maybe so it's next like an year. honor. It's like an honorable mention. Yeah, and then maybe next year. Oh, we're well, up at least for our it. names out there. They say we appreciate they say we it regardless, Webby. They say we see y'all. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate the shout out. And you know, free shout outs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, we'll the, the Webby Awards is kind of like a big deal. It's like the, it's the 
I guess, Emmys or the Oscars of the web. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. It's not a yeah. People's Choice Award, but shit, it's a web. Yeah. The podcasts that are up for the award are big, big podcasts. So it's cool. Like what? Like what? Um, I looked before just to do the research, um, and I, I, don't know, I think it's like Jason Bateman's podcast is one of them. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Oh, yeah. Jason Bateman's Jesus, podcast. Yara. Have you heard his podcast? I heard it's really good. I love Jason Bateman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never I've, listened to his podcast, but I know it's a big one. I worked with Jason Bateman once. Nice. Mm-hmm. I like him. On nice. um, This Is Where I Leave You. He was a very nice man, but I do think he's a little method, by the way. He was very like... I think he's a little method. Anyways. Oh, Succession is one of the podcasts that are up for it. Wow. Succession. Oh. Um, Here are the podcasts. Oh, awesome. High end participation trophy. <laughs> Next. Ca- well, it's just like a bunch of different categories, too. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Uh-oh. There's a there's too many. There's a bunch. Click yeah, with Bachelor Nation. Oh, the, oh, also the, behind the table, the view. Oh, we up there with the view, y'all. Yeah, that's big time. We'll take it. Wait, House of Gucci? Oh yeah. my gosh, guys, Meditative Story is so good. Have you guys ever heard that? No. No. Oh my gosh, Meditative Story is so good. I've, I've listened to this, but I found this podcast over the pandemic. And um, it's people telling stories like... To, that help you like meditate like to a story opposed to just like music or whatever it's so good oh y'all mm, i hope they win mm-hmm. okay Sorry. so yeah we're, we're in good company <laughs> with these nominees so we will take it yeah that's really great oh i love that um okay well look now it's time for my version of a meditative meditative story <laughs> the clickbait <laughs> of the week <laughs> um okay guys so this woman this clickbait of the week the single woman says, if a man doesn't pay during the first date, he doesn't get a second date. Wow. This single woman went on a tangent in whatever she was saying in this article. She didn't well, just she didn't just leave it there. She just kept going and it was a little too much. Yeah. Um, so if he doesn't pay the first date, it is an absolute no second date. What do you guys think about that? Well, what do you think about that? As a woman, I think it's a little old school. I mean, it's nice and considerate for a man to pay on the first date, but I'm mm-hmm. not. I don't. I don't freaking know. Well, I don't you don't have good manners. Wait, so, is it? Is it just like what if he splits it, or is it? It's an absolute mm-hmm. no if like you have to pay. No, I think it's. A, I think it's if he splits it. Anything other than him paying. Okay. Anything other than him paying is <clears throat> a no for her, but. This is what I would think. I would think that, and I've been on dates with guys like this before where I'm like, oh, like maybe he doesn't really like, like maybe it's not a vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm always w- like looking for the guy to to show me like, you know, I'm not like this forward person that's like going to just like grab someone and like grab their face. But I'm always looking for the guy to, like, show me his interest. So if a guy is like, okay, yeah, like, let's split it. And by the way, I always offer. On a first date, I always yes. offer to split it. You at least offer. I'm never yeah. just like, yeah, so mm-hmm, the bill's here. What you going to do about uh-huh. it? <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. Like, I'm never like it, that. You offer in hopes that they're going to be like, no, well, I'll take if, it or I'll split it or I'll, like, yes. I'll pay for so, this when you get the well, drink at the next the, place. Yeah, the offer is to be polite. But yes. Yes. You, right. you you're kind of hoping that he's going to pay for it because if it's going to show me. because it's going to show yeah. interest exactly. not because you want right. the free meal but it just right. if right. you're into him you're going to think he's more interested if he pays exactly right. yeah. so i have had situations where i've been on a re- on a date with a guy and he was just like get out of here like whatever most of the time that's how it is right they're like no like i got it and there were there are times when the guys like Okay, you know, <laughs> and so you think like, oh, like does it like it? Then my mind goes, and I'm just being honest: is he cheap or does he not like me? <laughs> mm-hmm. You yeah. know, like yeah, that how makes much sense. food and drinks can one can, can two people really have? Like not that much, right? Like right. So I always think about that, but I would if I liked the guy and he said split, then 
I would probably go on another date with him just to mm-hmm. see, is he cheap or is he just wants to hang out? Like what's happened? Or, you know, like, this is just a, what is this? Now, if I have to pay for it, which this has happened to me once in my life. Oh, never again. Oh, never. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, what see, that's just like inconsiderate from oh, the other person. Okay, oh, well, never. well, how did that happen? He was just like, all right, girl, here you go. He said that he, some about his card and his assistant had this and th- it was a whole story. I said, hold on, shut up. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what if, card. what if you're on a date and it's going, and it's a great date. Like you're really into him. He's really into you. Couldn't be going any better. You like, can't wait for the second date. You even might hook up tonight. That's how good it's going. And then he's like, I actually don't. Like, let's say that let's say the restaurant doesn't take Apple Pay. Right. And, and he's legit, like I forgot my wallet. Mm-hmm. If it was legit. But I mean you don't know. Right. Well, this is basically what happened. And I oh, paid for it happily. My heart would drop. But in my mind, but in this is basically what happened. He said he didn't have his wallet, whatever. His, I would have Venmo would you, though. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. There's so exactly. many ways to pay someone. Yeah, it's Exactly. True. And yeah. if you don't, and if and it was like, okay, and here's the thing. If you didn't get the Venmo, it's like, you know what? Thanks for this. But like next time, I'm going to really show her a good time or do mm-hmm. this or do that. Like that was so cool that she did, you know, whatever. Right. If, it was, like, if he legit didn't have a way to pay, he'd probably be embarrassed too. Like so exactly. embarrassed and offering to do whatever he It was he could the lack to. of like even like not even the embarrassment. And in my opinion, it was kind of like, um, oh, and then like he even had these other. And mind you, this man was not. It wasn't like this man was broke. He just didn't have any manners. You know what I mean? Right. And, and I was just thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I can't do this. What if I, he was broke? It could, what? Well, yeah. I was like. What, what if he was broke? <laughs> what if would he you, was broke? So would you. If he was broke if, and didn't have manners? No, sorry. What if, he, what if he had manners, but he was just broke? He was struggling. Well, then that was. Well, then. Because here's the thing. It's not about money. Right. It's about what you do with it. So then. Don't ask me to go to dinner on a Friday night or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Let's go for a fucking walk. I love or, walks. Yeah, go get coffee. Let's go for a bike ride. Let's go get coffee. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so you then know what you I mean? know he can't really manage his money. Exactly. Exactly. So I have, and I've done that. Which, I mean, there are guys that I've dated that were definitely was not wealthy or anything like that. And we had a lot of fun doing a lot of things and they still paid for it. But it was like, let's go for a walk. Let's go get coffee. Mm-hmm. Let's go for this bike ride. Let's go do this. Let's go for this hike. Hikes are free, and I love those. You know what I mean? Yeah, honey. The thing that we're doing this this article, though. Let me tell (laughs) y'all. This girl is kind. This girl in this article that we're talking about, she kind of plays games, though. Like she does these tests with men. So not just like the not paying on the first date, but she also says if she complains that she's cold and a man doesn't give her his jacket, that's a complete no. Yeah. Or no. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. bitch, yeah. Yeah. first of all, stop playing games if you want yeah. to. Like, well, what are you doing? Well, well, she put him through the ringer. Wait. And another thing that she said was about the Uber. She said that there is a time when she went on a date with a guy. It went great. He called an Uber for himself and she called her Uber and her, and his Uber came He's first. He's got there first. Yeah. And he was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to wait for you. And she was like, no, that's Okay. And he and she said and to then test him. He got in his Uber. I said, "Well, you said you was okay, girl. Yeah. First of all, what? men need direct, direct responses. They don't understand beating around the bush. Yeah. So, like, I mean, honestly, in that case, though, like, I there are certain men though that really will be like, "No, you're crazy. I'm gonna wait for you correct. or whatever." Yeah. Correct. Yeah, and there's, I mean, listen, there's levels to manners, right? But there's also levels to games. And listen, these right. men don't have to deal with her with these games either, you know? Yeah. I, uh, I'm i old school, so I, I'll, I pay and I, I would. Or like call her an Uber. For, yeah, I'd call, I would wait for, the, I would do the whole thing. But, you know, Serena and I were engaged now. So <laughs> when I, we went to, well, we went to the People's <laughs> Choice Awards. Uh-huh. I just got this suit. It was, you know, it was a really nice suit. And it was cold in there. And she was like, 
I, and I know she needs my jacket. And I'm thinking, oh, she's got makeup on. It's gonna get all uh-huh. over my. New, it's gonna get all over my new jacket. You gotta be kidding. And I, I think I even told her, I'm like, I really don't rub your face. So much. No, I, I. Well, I mean, at this point, we're close enough to just say how we feel. And I was like, <laughs> I really don't want to give you this jacket. Like, I don't want to give it to you. And she's basically like, just give me the jacket. I'm cold. I'm like, fine. And you know what happened? You know what happened? Makeup all over the fucking jacket. And then I had to take it to get it dry cleaned. Oh. But what did she do? Touch her damn face on the sleeve? Well, because, you know, it was a, a night where, you know, you get, uh, you know, a lot of makeup for the, for the red yeah. person. So, you know, she had some Listen. like body stuff on. Oh, 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 oh. Hilarious. Like, you know what? Yeah, worth, so the, worth the dry cleaning. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was going to have to get dry cleaned anyway. It's fine. But no, that's really funny. But no. It's levels to it, right? Like, yeah. it's levels to it. Yeah. And I think that uh, we, it is nice, I think, to know what you're dealing with, but I don't think it should determine if you're going to, if you like someone, if you're going to, how much you're going to date them. Like, I have dated one of the most chivalrous men that I've ever met in my whole entire life. He still was a fucking scumbag. <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, yeah, see, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't always matter. Listen, listen, he will, he will, go, he will call still you. Still cheated on my ass. He will, so. yeah, exactly. He still cheated on me. Um, he would call the Uber. He would be waiting for me outside when the Uber got there. He would walk me in. He would do all the things, all all the things. But he still was a, he was still a dirt bag, you know. So <laughs> yeah, damn. Sometimes it's hard to get both, you know. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, honey. I'm telling you. So, Should we? Yeah. Uh, should we hit? Should we do the listener questions? Yes. 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 We're ready. Always interesting. I think so. Wait. Wait. We know. have to give our listeners something to take back from this clickbait. Um. What's the What's the takeaway for our listeners for this clickbait? Don't play uh, games. Well, but also just, know what yeah. you're working with. Know what you're working with. I think it's yeah. okay to test. Yeah. I think it's okay to test. But, but don't you completely just, just credit with. someone. Exactly. For that. And also like, say how you feel. If I say. <laughs> If I say, hey, I'm cold, <laughs> give me your damn jacket. <laughs> Don't just oh, say you're yeah. cold. <laughs> Don't play yeah, that like, shit. Like yeah, Serena, did. Yeah, no, just like Serena did. Yeah, like Serena did. Hey, um, I noticed you was, have an extra layer. I need it. <laughs> if it was our first date, I would have, you know, I wouldn't even have, yeah. have questioned it. But there you go. You know, like mm-hmm. the old school movies, they put their jacket over yeah. a puddle when you're like crossing yeah. the street. Put that's jacket a jacket over a puddle. Excessive. Put the Tom Ford over the puddle for me. <laughs> that that's not happening. <laughs> you can swim in that fucking puddle. I don't give a fuck. And that jacket is not going in a puddle. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, listen, shit. Okay. Listener, listener questions. Okay. We have questions from you guys, our listeners. We love that you guys send things in. Now it's time for us to answer those questions. Um, so let's let's get this thing going. All right. Yay. Qu- we haven't talked about Joe. Joe. The problem is all these questions, there's like 15, they're all, they all just start with Joe, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. No. no, but the first one is, Joe, how how does it feel to officially be a New Yorker? How was the move? Talked about us, talked about this at the beginning of the podcast. The move was actually very easy. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a New Yorker. I would still consider myself a Chicagoan. Um, if I end up staying here, I go, I'm going to be going back and forth to Chicago and New York. But if I end up staying here for 30 years, then maybe I would consider myself a New Yorker. But I do think that the time needs to match where you live the longest. That's mm. my opinion. Take it, leave it, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> next. How did the three of you get cast on The Bachelor? Okay. Tia first. Uh, so... I was friends with Raven Gates, and she messaged me when she was literally still in Finland at the end of her season and was like, this is so fun. You have to do this. You have to apply. So the next time to apply rolled around, and I did, and I went through all the steps, met with the producers in Nashville, then did the, you know, the final thing in L.A., and they were like, all right, you're on. There you go. That's simple. This is so fun. (laughs) That's funny. I think it's funny when people categorize it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, she was like, you get to drink for 60 days straight. You should mm. try it out. Do it. Sign me up. Uh, Natasha. I got casted because a girlfriend of mine was a producer on the show. 
and she had been trying to get me on this damn show for six years a year as long as she was on it and i was like i'm not leaving my corporate job to go work i mean to go be on the show i'm not doing it and then i quit my corporate job and she was like well look you're not working so uh, no can excuses I, can i send an email and i was like mm, okay send the email of course i knew what bachelor was i never had watched it though and I know a lot of people say that, but like, truly, I never watched it. <laughs> and so um, she sent an email and that was like in June. Nothing happened. Nothing came about. Two weeks before filming, one producer called me. Then another producer called me and another producer called me. And I was like, oh, good. What's happening? And yeah. then I got casted uh probably three days before i had to leave oh, so Jesus. yeah i did the not shopping. have I, I had i did not have to i wore my my whole wardrobe i had no time to like shop or do anything or call anybody or to say help me or nothing i was very stressful but i'm a very spontaneous person i really trusted my friend and i shouldn't have did that um yeah. no, I'm just <laughs> and that's how it happened yeah and here we are today here Joe. we are today <laughs> Um, yes. I was walking through Whole Foods. I was actually leaving oh, Lady yeah. Stop. I've, I've told this story, but I forgot. Lady, woman stopped me, handed me a card, said, The Bachelor, would you ever consider going on? I honestly thought they were asking me to be The Bachelor. <laughs> and then it was, it was, you pretty the, much like, the whole rules. It was like, send us, um, record a video of yourself for like a few minutes and send it mm -hmm. in, um, within a week. And I just didn't do it because I felt too uncomfortable. Because I was like, I'm it not was doing raw. Because I didn't even have social media. I'm like, I'm not doing this. And then they called me like, we didn't get your video. I said, um, you know, I appreciate, you know, the offer, but I'm I'm gonna pass. And they're like, well, what about a Zoom? So I did a Zoom call. Wow. Then they actually, I think they were. I don't know if they were. They came to Chicago. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they were doing like a casting calls or why. But they came to Chicago. They met me, and, and right when I interviewed in Chicago, they're like, we're gonna fly you to L.A. So I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did have to send in pictures to my friend. Yes. That was it. Yeah. I had to go yeah. get pictures taken. I didn't have any like professional photos. I had to have like a friend do photos of me for free. I didn't even know how to submit the video. I didn't know how to upload a video on a laptop to send to them. It was a whole freaking mm. thing. Social media was so new then too. Yeah. yeah I had to like was, pull I, pictures from my Facebook and like crop my ex-boyfriends out. Um, and I thought pictures. So I was the season. I was the season after you, T, and I thought you were going to be the Bachelorette. Oh, so did yeah. I. But I'm glad I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be you, T. You. What is the craziest thing that ever happened on the Bachelor? Most iconic moment for you? Okay. Meaning that happened to you, or that you saw? No, just ever. No, to on you. the show. No, but like to you, in your opinion, what is the craziest thing to ever happen on The Bachelor? Oh. At the time on Ben's season, it was crazy that he told JoJo and Lauren that he loved both of them. Oh. That was pretty crazy. And okay. memorable. Yeah. So I didn't watch then. Um, I would, I mean, my, my memory goes from my season um, and the Paradise seasons that I watched before I went on Paradise and Rachel Lindsay's season. I, I honestly my, watching my season back um and seeing how I mean I hate to beat a dead horse but just seeing how the whole thing that the the love triangle between Hannah Ann and Madison mm. and Peter that was crazy that yeah. was just like ooh ouch and then mm -hmm. ba mama barb just going in on yeah. uh, <laughs> on the on the um, yeah. finale on AFR, yeah, that whole thing. Maybe I don't know if it. Maybe it's just because I was on that season. No, that, that was, was wild. It was kind of crazy, wild. right? I was. I like, hosted Ooh. a watch party in Nashville, and everyone was watching it like. <gasps> yeah, my yeah, that was crazy. I was like, yo. She's... And then he ended up with Kelly, which was like a whole bizarro. Oh, don't get thing. me started. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say because I, uh, because I had, I guess I had a, a connection to it because I was going on the following season. Um, and I remember, I didn't really watch, I didn't watch the show. I had seen it before, but I didn't watch it. And I just thought it was all, I thought it was, I thought this was scripted and fake. But when Ari broke up with Becca at the oh. happy couple house, now oh. having been to a happy couple house and knowing that that wasn't fake, 
That's pretty crazy. And knowing that he could have done it off camera and not yeah. like invited the cameras to come. Yeah, yeah that pretty, shit was wild. That, that, that that's pretty crazy. Wild. Yeah. But because I remember I watched it and thought like, because oh, I was going on the next season and I remember thinking, there's no way that's real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's no way. Um, and then he proposed to Lauren yeah. there on the yeah. stage. Guys, can I tell you, I cannot yeah, it was the right watch decision. that. Like the next night or whatever. I'm so oh. close to Becca and when I tell you, I cannot watch that. Like, I feel like I would be so enraged. I mean, I know oh. what happened, of course. But we like, were close I'm... with her, knew about the breakup, and then had to watch it. And it was still shocking for us to watch. No, I can't. I would never watch that. I can't watch it. I'd be so Oh, mad. that shit was wild, dude. <laughs> and it's happened yeah, so long ago, it. so I'm it's like, wild. let's just keep it there. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> Clay, like, what happened with Clayton? I mean, that all, that was all... It was pretty crazy just because he was just like, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, whoa. Yeah, like, telling stop telling doing that. Telling him you love him at the same time and then telling breaking up with him at the same time. That was kind of crazy mm-hmm. too. I mean, maybe look maybe because it's so recent, maybe that's why I'm like not putting that in the category, but yeah, that was wild. All right. Let's uh let's keep this thing moving. Um if any of you were single, would you ever go back to paradise? Absolutely um, not. Yeah. I, I've been there twice. I don't plan on being single again. And even if I was, I, two times is, is enough. It's the max. Yeah. yeah. Natasha, everyone wants to know. This, this question was basically it, for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, so a lot of people that I know, two times, they say two times is a charm. Like that's like, I mean, a lot of people <laughs> went twice. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now in my life, I can't go back um was that your first time to be there that was my first time there because oh. you know covid happened yeah they yeah, had the yeah, yeah 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 so there was no yeah so um you know would i have went af- right after my season and i was single yes and then maybe would i have went this time maybe you know what i mean maybe yes. but right now like where i am with with trust i'm still yeah you don't there you don't like so get not- scorned <laughs> like that and then go back that, like, you get scorned on like your second time and then you don't go Yeah, back. I feel like I had three paradises in my first experience. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, who's gone I'm... three times? Has anyone gone three times? Yeah, I'm sure. I think Bukowski went three times. <laughs> I think and it didn't work. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna start rapid fire in these things. Joe and Natasha, your birthdays are coming up. How are you celebrating? Joe, go. Okay, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, probably just dinner. Um, I like to be low key on my birthday. Oh, unfortunately, um, Serena ordered my gift to New York, and I already got it because <gasps> when I moved in, yeah, when I moved in, the door guy was like, "Hey, Joe, we got a package for you." And I was like, "Really? I got a package here?" And I look, I'm like, "I didn't order this." And then I put two and two together. Um, oh, so you saw where it was from, or you yeah, opened it? Yeah, I saw it? where it was from. She was upset. I didn't open it yet, oh. but I know where it's from. Oh, well, at least you. you haven't opened it yet. Yeah. Yeah. When's your actual nice. birthday? April what? Uh, April twelfth. Okay. What's yours, Natasha? April thirteenth. Oh my gosh! Back to back. What are mm, your plans? Back to back. Yeah. So I'm gonna be in London with um two of my close girlfriends. Uh, one of them who I haven't seen since before the pandemic. She moved there um Aww. with her boyfriend, and uh I just haven't seen them in a long time, and I've. I said for my birthday, I want to be in Europe. Like I said this last year since I didn't, you know, I wasn't, I didn't really, I was here. I was in Chicago actually last year for my birthday. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to be in Europe. I don't know where, I don't know what. I wanted I to be in it. Paris, but then I'm going to go to Paris after. So yeah, two of my best friends, I'm going to, it's going to be so great. And I'm just really happy to okay, see Natasha, you. Okay, Natasha, you win. Sorry, no, <laughs> you lose. Yeah, she does. I mean, she's got How me. old are you I, both going to be? I, I told Joe, him and Serena just had, Hop a flight. Correct. <laughs> Hop a flight. Come to come to Europe no, for his I'm birthday. Thirty-six. Um, I'm okay. gonna be a, a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Stop um, aging at twenty-nine. Which do you prefer, IG or TikTok? IG only because that's where I work. Instagram, I, yeah, Instagram. but I think I'm gonna ask me this question in a year, and I and I think I'm gonna say TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. I tried, <laughs> and like. You can get people to like your videos and then you like work so hard to make one and then nobody sees it. It's really annoying. It's time consuming. I, I, I just, as a viewer, 
Instagram is just more pleasant. I mm -hmm. feel like TikTok could be a little chaotic. Um, Instagram, yeah. I could sit at, you know, a coffee shop and just kind of scroll. Um, right. Or TikTok, I got to like put headphones in the whole thing. So, but yeah. I do, I mean, I like them both, whatever. All right. What is one fashion trend you rock that you wish you could take back? Mm. I'm going to say nothing. I feel like everything I wore in high school is not great. I don't know about fashion, but like the thin eyebrows, not good. Thin uh, eyebrows. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like long shorts. You know, like the shorts that go like <laughs> way below your knees. Those. I would take those back. Yeah, not yeah. flattery. I mean... It wasn't a fashion thing, but like when I was younger, I had, I mean, well, I still have long legs, but none of my pants fit me. So I always had like floods, like yes, always. Yeah, because I didn't but make it, long it length then. But it wasn't on purpose. Like I didn't like, I just, right. when I look at pictures now, I'm like, why the hell wasn't I wearing, I was one of those girls that love wearing dresses. I was mm. not one of those girls. I loved wearing pants and they never fit me. Well, because that's all <laughs> they had. There was one length, there wasn't options. So yep. I had the same issue. All mine were too short. Yeah. Okay. They're not cute. Have any of you seen The Bachelor live on stage show? If so, should I buy tickets? Nah, I'm going you can pass this on weekend. that one. Oh. So. <laughs> Joe, what? Like, like I'm going to say, like, oh, yeah, pass. <laughs> Fucking fuck that show. Um, no, no, no. I haven't seen it, and I'm so sad I missed it. I was sick um, when they were here in New York, and I'm, like, so sad because it was also Becca's birthday the next day. Oh, yeah. Um, And I was, and, you know, I love Justin, so I'm, like, Ugh, I'm I'm really really sad that I miss it. I text her like thirty times and was like, I'm so sad I'm missing it. But I think you should get it because I talked to Andrew after. I haven't caught up with Justin yet. He just finished. Um, and I'm but I mean crushed it. Like they look like I mean it looks like it's so much fun. Yeah, it is. Me and Taylor Be are Becca's going doing, on Sunday in Atlanta. Be Becca's doing a nice. great job, but there's a lot of it's a lot of audience participation. So if you oh, go, there's a chance nice. you get pulled on stage. Yeah, That's so fun. go for that. Yeah. It's Rodney this week, right? And everyone says he's so yeah. much fun. Joe, you've met Rodney. Yeah, Rodney's great. Rodney's, yeah. Rodney's a, a funny man. He yeah, does make him laugh. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you could go on any other reality show, which would it be? Ooh, and why? I mean, I have to say Housewives. I mean, I guess. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Right? Like, I have to say Housewives. Just because it seemed crazy, I would love to go and do, like, um... I would love to go and like go to, you know how they have like their events, like all their crazy events. And then like they all drama ensues and happens. I'm be like, girl, what she say? I don't know. Mm. What? <laughs> so yeah, I, I would definitely know. say Housewives because it seems so chaotic, but it also seems so fabulous. So Housewives for me. I don't even watch other reality shows. Yeah, I don't really watch. Okay, we got I mean, Survivor. We got. I would do, I would do the Kardashians. Like that's the biggest one. So. That's what I want to be on. Keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know what well. I would do on it, but yeah, put me on that one. They're going to be like, Joe, drive us around. <laughs> 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 that's all you can do for them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. True. <laughs> Tia? I don't know. Nothing where there's a competition because I was like, oh, Survivor. Oh, Big Brother. No, you got to compete. And I don't want to freaking compete on there. Yeah. This isn't a reality show, but I would love to go on Shark Tank. I ain't got shit to pitch, but I would yeah, love to Shark hang out reality. with him. Shark, Shark Tank is it. reality. Oh, my God. I do I love, love Shark Tank. Yeah, I, I love Shark Tank. Shark Tank's addicting. I it's love Mark Cuban. He can not tell that. me anything. I, I love Kevin. Kevin is like, oh. <laughs> what? He does. Yeah, he I, never wavers. <laughs> I started never. I take what? back being the driver for the Kardashians. I want to do Shark Tank. Shark Tank? Maybe yeah, that's what pitch I'll, Maybe Let's that's pitch what it. I'll pitch on Shark Tank. Like, Pitch your sauce on Shark Tank. Say say you yeah. need, that you need, and they get, how much is their steak? They get whatever A steak. lot. Yeah. yeah. They get a lot. Um, They're like, I need 51%. You no longer <laughs> own the company. Bye. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay. What would you eat for your last meal on earth? Oh, mine's easy. It would be all like Southern mm -hmm. food, like fried chicken, fried okra, fried potatoes, cornbread, all the fried stuff. Cornbread. Mm. Okay. It's going to be my dad's mac and cheese. Mm. Um, that one too. It's going to be lemon meringue pie. 
and probably like some pineapple. I know that sounds crazy as hell, but these are things that I really like. I love the lemon meringue and I, pineapple. I just don't eat it anymore because there's so much sugar in it, but I love it. Um, and my dad's mac and cheese. I don't eat it anymore because God, that sounds so good. I'm freaking hungry and I um, can't eat shit. I what about you, an, Joe? An Italian beef from Johnny's, juicy sweet peppers, French fries. Oh, oh. That's the best. not Portillo's. Right. Mm, no, damn. No. no. Um, what are all of your signs and what is your most char- what is your most sign that characteristic? Oh, like your Aries. What's your most Aries sign? Or yeah. er- characteristic. Aries. Okay, yeah. so I'm an Aries. Joe's I'm an Aries. Aries. Mm-hmm. My most Aries characteristic, I would say, is um like uh like leader. Like, but not leader in the sense of like, follow me, like leader in the sense of like, if I have an idea, nobody can tell me shit. (laughs) I'm Mm -hmm. doing it and I don't care. And like, people could try to talk me out of it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And even if I see all the signs that say, don't go this way, it's the wrong way. I'm like, no, I'm going, bitch, I'm doing it. Um, I think that's a very airy trait because like, we just have to do things that we feel. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> um, I don't know any of, like, the characteristics of what an Aries is supposed to be, so. Okay, so I'll, t- I'll tell you guys about Joe since I know Joe pretty well. Um, I would say his most Aries trait is he doesn't like to, like, uh, like, what's popular, he doesn't like that. He don't, like, he mm. don't care. Well, not that he doesn't like it, he doesn't care about it. He doesn't care about the popular thing he wants to do his own thing no matter what would you say that joe you like what you like so you're saying like i like uh, like like so basically if everyone was there's people there's people like like when the iphone came out people like oh everyone's got the iphone i'm getting an android i'm not like that no 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 but if you like the iphone then you're going to get the iphone no matter what but if you didn't care then you did like it it, like you just don't care it's not about being opposite it's about just like either you you care what you care about and you literally don't care about and what the masses are saying if that makes sense yeah i care i I agree i care what i I but you're not anti yeah you're not anti no I'm that's not. what I would say. I hope I'm explaining that correctly. Like, that's no, my. That makes sense. Because my brother's an Aries too, and my sister's an Aries, and I think that is a very much an Aries trait of like. But Joe, you really have it because you. Everyone will be like, "Man, Celsius is the shit," and you're like, mm, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I don't not really. It. I like my coffee." I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I like it's, coffee. It's such a see. That's like it's such a. It's such a Aries thing, and I think Joe really has that. He's like, like I was like, oh, not Pertillo's, nah, like yeah, uh, but like John. also like, like the way he says it, you're like not offended by it. You don't have to argue with it. You're just like, okay, cool, right, 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 exactly. What stance, about you, Tia? Cool. I'm a Leo, um, so I think just like the drama, real dramatic, more dominant, spicy. I think that's about it. Spicy. Dominant, spicy, <laughs> kind of bold, bold. Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> I also I also go to bed at eight p.m., so I don't really know what that <laughs> what that is. But I don't think that's a, a Leo trait. I feel like Leo be up all, all those night. Traits before eight p.m. Correct. Okay. <laughs> we got we got two more questions. Um, this one: Were you guys surprised to see that Anna Redmond and Chris Bukowski are dating? Uh, I'm not surprised because um, I hooked I them mean, up. Oh, so. yeah. I oh, heard you had something really? to do with that, that you, and, you and Serena. So a Chris surprise, was, no, but I, it was, I mean, interesting, I guess, to see. So I forgot exactly how it went down, but I think um, Serena is friends with Anna. So Serena was, like, on the phone with Anna, and mm-hmm. I think she was, had mentioned, like, she's sick of being single. I, the, don't quote me on this, but I'm, <laughs> I kind of think that's, like, how it went. And then that night... I met up with a few people to watch whatever game was on. There was, I think there was some sporting event was on and um, I met with Chris and he was talking about like, and I think he was like, yeah, I'm sick of being single. 
was like, well, yeah, actually, I know somebody who was also sick of being single. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, it wow. was that easy? It was like that. And I'm like, why don't you hear a texter? And I, I think I texted Serena. I'm like, hey, I think Chris would be into Anna. And, <gasps> she, and, and then that was it. So then you pulled up. No, wait, well, let's be damn. honest. You pulled up her Instagram and you was like, this is the girl that's sick of being single. <laughs> well, he knew, who, he knew who she was because Chris is from Chicago. She lives in Chicago. Oh, 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 okay, okay, so okay. they, they oh. he knew like she existed. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I, yeah, I'm def- that's so my So it's type. that easy. Listen, look at no Joe and Serena out here being uh, matchmakers. Yeah. yeah. So I just got to call humor? y'all and be like, Joe, Serena, I'm sick of being single. And I remember too, I was like, Chris, I'm like, do it now. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> text her right now while the kitchen is fucking hot. Because if you, if you wait, she might not respond. Or she's she might funny. be with someone else. Yeah, she might like, be with someone it's else. perfect timing. You got to yeah. take advantage of timing. I uh, love that. Oh, love that works. That. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so I'll be the unpopular. I was surprised. Oh my god, how could they? No, 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 no. no. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so happy for them. Tia, were you surprised? Or are you just? Oh, I mean, not surprised, but I was like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, new bachelor. He couple. didn't even you have to, never know what you're gonna. You see. know what's interesting? If he would have went to Paradise just one more time, he right? Maybe well, Anna. you never know though, because yeah. she came in at the end. If they did, like the timing is always weird. That's true. That's or, true. That's true. She's she really was, funny, so actually, I hope he's funny too, or has like a and, good sense of humor because she cries. And she up. was she was talking to James in Paradise, so if James oh, really yeah. got that tattoo a few ah. months earlier, you never know. Mm, maybe. Um, uh, okay, last one. Let's and then we're going to wrap this up. Last one. What is something on your bucket list? Uh, Mile High Club. Nice. It's always been on my bucket list before eight p.m. <laughs> Before <laughs> four eight p.m. But you've got to do it like on a red eye flight, so it's like dark. But you yeah. got to do it on a red eye flight. It's just easier, I think, because they expect people to sleep. It's oh. just those bathrooms are so small, so small. Mm-hmm. But I was on a plane on recently. Or see, that's <laughs> like too easy. I want to do it on a freaking commercial <laughs> plane. I was on a flight not long ago that had it was yeah, like an international jet plane. Count. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't count. count. Why not? But this was a bigger bathroom doesn't on this count. plane. It was one that had like the little pods in first class, you know. So like the the first Polaris, class bathroom was United big. Polaris. It was. I don't. I can't remember even what it was. But I was like, how did I get on this plane? It was amazing, and it would be perfect for that. Everyone I know which that, plane you were on because you you probably got on that plane. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It was my flight to the photo shoot but in yeah, LA. I was, was okay. So I was. It was on, from I Dallas was on that plane to LA. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. So it could be so I, easy in there. The people that I know that's a part of the Mile High Club always say Emirates. What's that? Emirates. That's like first the class. expensive, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently it is a vibe. <laughs> yeah, but I, that doesn't count either. If you're Why gonna not? do it, you gotta do you gotta it on be, a regular Yeah, it's gotta be like flight. the sneaky way where yeah. I don't got these rules for the mile high club. Listen, uh uh-uh, uh, if you in the air, <laughs> you in if you in the air and you're doing it, <laughs> I, no, I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> you didn't join the only way you join the mile high club is if you do it on a regular commercial flight in a small Okay, well aspect. listen, our listeners, yeah. can y'all tell us, can we settle this? I think if you are it look, if you are above um if you are in the air, if you are above the clouds and you um <laughs> have a climax. <laughs> oh you're shit. There, you're in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um Bucket okay what's on your too. what's on your list, Joe? Uh, He's like moving to New York, did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's on my bucket list oh you know what I want to go to uh, but I want to do it right I want to go to the to the F1 races in Ooh. Monte Carlo and Tanner Monica Monica. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Monica Monte Carlo Monaco whatever same shit right Joe no I Monte, Car- Monte Carlo and Monaco are different are they? I thought they were the, like I thought they were the same, or they're like right next to each other. They're right next to each other. Okay, but they are different. Yeah, I um, want to do that, but I want to do it right. It's crazy. Like I looked it up. Like if you want to get a, a hotel that weekend, like every room's like minimum like five grand a night. So Joe, guess what? I think I'm gonna go this year. Really? I think so. I wow. think so. I'm gonna uh. in Europe, so I think so. Um, but. Uh, that is something that I've always wanted to do. Not necessarily bucket list, but um, you should come. <laughs> you and Serena should come. 
She's yeah, already saying I, you should come because she's already going to be there. You know, <laughs> when I, is it? It's not a bucket list thing for me. I don't really have a. It's bucket at the list. end. It's at the end of um, it's uh beginning of May. Uh, I think it's oh, at the end of May. Beginning end of, May. of uh, Taylor watches June. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. The end of May. Really, Monica. Rich I mean, I drivers. like you. He, you said it right. Like doing it right. I would say that like. Uh, bucket list. I mean, yeah, the only thing that's on mine is, just, I guess, places to go. It's sort of similar. Yeah. Um, I Well, I definitely want to write a book at some point. Oh, yeah. I, and also the Maldives. I, like, really want to go to the Maldives. Um, so, yeah, I would say those two things, I guess, are, like... But I look at my bucket list as goals. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm, you know? Like, I, I don't... Yeah, I look at bucket list like I don't even I, they, I don't consider myself having a bucket list, but like that's one of the things I really want to go to this restaurant called Noma in Copenhagen. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, that's it's like it's like gold. But that's it's still, weird. That's still and, technically bucket list because yeah. it's not. It's like you have to go to a different country. You got to go to a different country. You have yeah. to do. You have to really plan it and do it. Yeah, I would. I would agree. I would totally agree. I really <laughs> think that. Um, I know people who are like, I want to climb Kilimanjaro. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, like, I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> sure, no. Sure, shit, no. Bungee jumping, absolutely not. Yeah, I'm like, no. yeah, bungee jumping or like, you know, these daring things. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, nah. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, not I'd like to go to Bora Bora and stay in a hut over the water. Thank you. I'll there climb, you go. I'll climb the stairs at the gym, okay? <laughs> Those are the, that's what I'm climbing. climbing. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Um, I think that wraps up the listener questions. Thank you guys so much for sending them in. Um, but yeah, that's it. And that's honestly, I think we're pretty much done with this podcast. We talked for I agree. quite some time. We um, did. I like this how podcast. Do you get, how do I you mean, guys I feel? Is everybody guests, good? But... Yeah, we're good. We didn't get to talk about a guest because it was us. We went on some tangents, This yeah. is but us. we made it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you get to go to the Webby Awards, are you going to go? <laughs> no, I'm not going to any more award shows. I have, after People's Choice Awards, I'm done. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> no. you mad? Yeah. Oh, no. you mad, huh? <laughs> no, no um, would I go to the Webby Awards? Probably not. Probably not. I would I'm go. Not, I'm, I'm not going to be here, but I would go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, yeah, guys, I love this podcast. I'm so glad that we had it. And um, there's great. It's a, that's the great thing about having three hosts because we don't necessarily need a guest sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we guys are so just, interesting. Oh my God. Yeah. We can all just talk out the side of our heads and it's oh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Tia, when are you coming to New York? I don't know. Mm. I need to do. I need she's got to keep the food something. poisoning or the flu or whatever yeah. she's got first. Yeah, the, Joe was talking about that freaking sandwich with fries, and it just really made my stomach girl. Oof. Uh, well, I love our fan questions. Keep them coming, guys. All right. Thank you so much to our listeners for being here today. Yes. And as always, make sure to subscribe and submit all your questions. Hopefully, we do this again in the next few months. Um, thank you guys so much. Make sure to check us out. Like, comment, DM us, clickbait BN on Instagram. All our links to all our social media accounts are right there on that page. And share your stories with us. We want to know what clickbait you guys are looking at. Clickbait is available on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you listen. You can listen ad free by subscribing to Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app. I will see you guys next week. <laughs>